There's a one two. Strike three, fastball right on the outside corner. And strike three right on the inside corner. Two straight strikeouts looking for Treasel. And the pitch. Swing and a miss, he struck him out. Strikeout number three for Kevin Treasel. Bossel is going, the bunt is missed. Here's the throw from Sasaki to second base. Safe as Cedric Bossel steals second. And a grounder up the middle and it is a kick save by Waddell. Look at that, he's gonna throw to first and get him. Kyle Waddell stuck his foot out and stopped that ball from going into center field for an RBI hit. Seeing some good pitching so far in this one. 2-2 pitch, swing and a miss, he struck him out with a fastball. Roll, here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the breaking ball and Treasel with five strikeouts. Through and he hits a line drive to center field but Brown is right there to make the catch. Steinlein hit that ball too hard. Here's the pitch to Burkhart. There's a line drive to center field, sinking fast. It's a base hit in front of Cedric Bossel. And Ben Burkhart leads off the fifth inning with a base hit. Atridge shows bunt, and he lays it down. It's going to go to Peterson. Peterson looks at second, throws to first in time. They get the out. And Palacios wisely over to cover third. Three hits on the young season. And a throw to second base behind the runner. They got him. He's out. Burkhart is picked off. They went off of Sasaki's glove to the backstop. There's a bouncer right back to Waddell. And another 1-2-3 inning. He has retired eight in a row. There's the next one on the way. Fly ball hit to right field. Sandersius a long run over near the line. This ball is going to be caught by Gabe Sandersius on the run. Nice running catch by Gabe as he left your picture on a short single. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. There's a pitch on the way. There's a line drive right field. Sanders is right there. Reaches up, makes the catch. And that is 13 in a row set down by Kevin Treasel. Steinlein with his hands on his knees. He is going. The pitch. Strike called. Here's the throw from Sasaki. It's pretty good. But Steinlein slides in safely. Here's the pitch. Ground ball up the middle. That's going to get through into center field. Steinlein being held at third base as Clarence Brown came up with the ball in shallow center field. Hit. There's the 1-0 pitch. There goes Bossel. And the squeeze was on. It's popped up. A diving catch by Kyle Waddell. Throw to first. Double play, and the inning is over. That was a fantastic play by Kyle Waddell. And the curveball, and he was waiting for it, and he popped it straight up. Waddell calling for it in foul ground. Makes the catch, and we're going to go to the ninth inning. Scoreless. And 2-2, two and two, the pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. He got him. One down. First strikeout for Lucas Steinlein. 1-2. Breaking ball swung on and foul tipped into the mid of Jose Palacios for strike three. That first swing. There's a swing and a fly ball to shallow right field. Stoltz started back coming in, makes the catch. And we are going to go to extra innings, the 10th inning coming up. This one popped up. Foul ground behind the plate. Palacios running over near the screen, makes the catch. There's one down. <laughs> From left to right, the pitch. Breaking ball, struck him out. Pitch in the dirt, Palacios blocked it, throws to first. Two down as the play is completed. There's the one ball pitch. There's a hard ground ball. Now that was a line drive base hit into center field. Richard Klein gets his revenge. No kick save on that one. Through the eight games, here's the 1-0 pitch. And a throw to first, Klein is picked. He is out. Richard Klein took a step towards second base. And Waddell threw over there and picked him off. And Klein has been caught to end the 10th inning. For it as well, here's the pitch. Breaking ball, got him swinging. That was a beautiful pitch by Lucas Steinlein. Second straight strikeout. 12 in a row. There's a line drive off the glove of Mitch Stefan into right field. A base hit for Jonas Fink. And he's on with two outs, and that will turn the lineup over. First, next pitch on the way. There's a line drive, jumping catch by Josh Peterson. And we're gonna go to the bottom of the 11th inning, scoreless. That was a highlight reel play by Josh Peterson to take away a base hit and a scoring opportunity from the Tubing and Hawks. Clarence Brown is denied. Let's take a look at that one on the replay. Look at this catch. Josh jumped up and made the catch over his head. We're going to go to the bottom of the 11th. Still no score in the game. Here's the pitch to Erickson. Up and in, and that one hit him. It grazed his jersey, and Erickson is going to take first base. And the pitch, Ziegler squares to bunt, lays down a good one in front of the plate. Waddell has one play, that's to first. He makes the play, the throw a little bit to the inside of the first base line. Almost got Ziegler on the way by. And there is ball four. So the intentional base on balls. 
following an intentional walk to Peterson. Bottom of the 11th inning of a scoreless game. Excellent pitching. Waddell has been in there all the way for the Hawks. It was Treasel for seven and Steinlein for four innings. There's the 1-0 pitch. There's a line drive left field. Going back on it, Burkhart. He's got a play. It goes off his glove. Erickson had to go back towards second. Now he's being waved around third. Here's the throw to the plate. It is not going to be in time. Erickson scores, and the Disciples win 1-0. It was a fly ball off of the glove of Ben Burkhart, who just moved from third base to left field. Not sure if that's going to be a hit or an error, but it does not matter. You can see he is disappointed, and the game is over. 1-0 in 11 innings. Let's take a look at the replay. Stefan got a pitch away, hit it in the air to left field. Burkhart had to go back, and then he was in position, put both hands up like he was supposed to do, and I think the ball just went into and out of his glove. So Erickson comes around and with a headfirst dive, comes in to score the game's only run, and Kyle Waddell, a tough luck loser, he really pitched a fantastic ball game.